afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries Group Exhibit. You're with me today at the Technical Forum. I invite everyone who's listening to please grab a seat, enjoy a coffee, water, or juice while you listen to our next presentation. I'd also like to welcome all of our viewers who are um, watching the live stream, and I'd also like to remind everyone that these presentations will be able to be reviewed online. Uh, just head to our website, the h2fcfair.com, and you'll be able to recall all of the presentations from today. Our next presentation is Power Paste for Infrastructure Independent Hydrogen and Energy Solutions. And here to today to talk with us is Dr. Marcus Tegel, who is the manager of Power Paste at the Frauenhof Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Materials. So let's, uh, if you could all join me in welcoming uh, Dr. Tegel. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for your warm welcome and the kind introduction. I want to give my talk about power paste for infrastructure independent hydrogen and energy solutions. Everything my talk is about is already in the topic. So it's, it's about producing hydrogen without the need for hydrogen infrastructure. So for example, we don't need hydrogen fuel stations. Instead, we have a paste-like material which we can directly convert to hydrogen and how this works I'm going to show you today. This also eliminates the need for example for hydrogen compressors and hydrogen high-pressure gas cylinders. So where do we think uh, we can employ um, our technology which we call power paste? Basically everywhere where normally you would use batteries but batteries are just uh, too limited. For example, because of their low capacity, low durability of only a couple of years, self-discharge, if weight and size is an issue of batteries, or the dependence of the electricity grid to recharge batteries or the charging time as well. Also temperature range, if the temperature is low, for example, um, batteries um, have, have a have a drop in their capacity and also battery t batteries usually have very high capex costs per installed kilowatt hours. So generally uh, we propose to use power paste wherever you would normally use hydrogen but infrastructure like uh, the availability of fuel stations is an issue and is a problem here. What are the advantages of power paste compared to batteries um, apart from the ones I uh, already told you? Well, one of the most important uh, advantages is the, both the specific energy of power paste as well as the energy density of power paste is about 10 times the amount compared to lithium ion batteries. So you even have higher um, electrical energy densities if you compare it to methanol uh, and convert the methanol to electricity with a DMFC or even gasoline with small generators. So these numbers include all conversion losses already. Further advantages of power paste are you can directly refill power paste, you just swap paste cartridges and um, off you go again. You don't need to recharge, therefore you're also independent from the electricity grid. You don't have any self-discharge, as I already told you. You have completely noise and uh, emission-free um, uh, production of electricity. You've got non-toxic materials. You've got low system weights, high power, high, high power densities, orientation independence, and probably most important of all, uh, the total cost of ownership for certain applications can be much lower uh, compared to both batteries and also um, uh, fossil fuels. Applications where this will be the case um, include both stationary applications. We are thinking especially of um, backup power systems um, where you basically need high system availability and also um, independence from the electricity grid and high reliability. You've got low OPEX costs in this case because uh, fuel cell based systems basically are maintenance free uh, compared to fossil fuel, uh, for example, diesel power generators. 
Also for security and surveillance systems, we think uh, Power Paste is a good idea to, uh, to employ because you really have self-discharge free systems and therefore they can be maintenance free for um, extended periods of years. Also for portable and mobile systems, we think uh, Power Paste might be an option for cer certain applications, especially where you need uh, the extremely high energy densities of Power Paste and the ease of use and um, the noiseless and emissionless um, uh, production of electricity. We are thinking, for example, um, to apply Power Paste for drones and currently working on a power generator which is suitable to, to power a drone and uh, also applications like, for example, electric bicycles or also forklifts. So how does electricity production with power paste generally work? It is relatively simple. You've got power paste either in cartridges or any other form like barrels. You add water to the power paste in a hydrogen generator, which produces hydrogen of these both uh, uh, components and then the hydrogen produces um, uh, electricity in a fuel cell and can drive, of course, um, uh, any kind of load. What does happen chemically inside the hydrogen generator is actually quite easy to understand. The main ingredient of power paste is a material called magnesium hydride. If you add water to the magnesium hydride, hydrogen is formed. And one trick of the reaction is half of the produced hydrogen, you can see it in the color code as well, actually comes from the water. So this effectively doubles your available uh, amount of hydrogen, um, uh, which is stored in the form of magnesium hydride. By means of systems, how uh, can you imagine a hydrogen or power generator with power paste looks like? Um, this is a TRL5. Uh, I will uh, uh, give details about this also later in the talk. Hydrogen and ele electricity generator. Here, power paste is directly fed into a reactor with a linear actuator, and water uh, comes from a small water tank and is fed into the reactor by a s small water pump. A microcontroller uh, provides the necessary intelligence to um, control everything. Why is maybe a power paste still um, unknown to you? There's a simple reason maybe for this, because a couple of years ago, the underlying material, magnesium hydride, was just not able to produce hydrogen. In the left chart, you can see uh, the red curve is commercially available magnesium hydride, the production of, uh, of hydrogen. And you can see, even after a reaction time of 10 minutes, um, you have virtually no hydrogen production. At Fraunhofer IFAM, we were able uh, to make the reaction between magnesium hydride and water really, really fast and really, really effective as well. Um, by blending it firstly with a metal salt additive and then convert it to power paste. And you can see you've got nearly 100% reaction conversion um, within seconds, which is a really huge improvement. And also we run several tests, both with magnesium hydride uh, as well as power paste, um, and assess different water qualities for the production of high, uh, hydrogen. And we tested it with tap water, with sea water, with, um, I don't show it here in, in uh, the slide, but we also uh, tested the water from lakes and everything else. So uh, basically, the water quality isn't an issue for the hydrogen production in most cases. So this breakthrough was also awarded in, back in 2013 with the FCEL award in the uh, category science. And also we uh, filed several patents for this and uh, wrote a publication. What are the main ingredients of power paste? It's relatively simple. You need magnesium powder to produce uh, power paste. Then you need hydrogen. Both uh, compounds together uh, leave you with magnesium hydride. Uh, you add a 
a really inexpensive um, and readily available metal salt additive. And finally, uh, you blend the whole thing uh, with a so-called ester uh, to form power paste. And for the non-chemists of you, um, maybe you already had an ester at lunch. Just ordinary salad oil is an is a ester as well. And uh, we use a very similar component. Production-wise, the main steps involve, uh, to produce power paste involve the hydrogenation of magnesium powder uh, in a so-called autoclave uh, at relatively mild pressures of around 5 bars and temperatures of around 300 to 350 degrees centigrade. Uh, the resulting magnesium hydride uh, is blended with a metal salt and ester uh, in a agitator bead mill, um, for example, to produce power paste. And finally, in the final step, uh, the whole thing just has to be uh, bottled in empty cartridges uh, to leave you with power paste cartridges. So it's relatively simple to produce power paste, actually. And the good news for all of you who may ask, where do I get power paste? We are currently planning to build a pilot plant um, on a technical scale with an output of uh, around four tons per year. Um, and we start as early as this year um, to build this plan. And currently, we're also in talks with other um, industrial partners for a full commercialization of power paste production. System-wise, I uh, promise to give you details about this uh, power generator as well. Um, as you can see, apart from the linear actuator and water pump I already introduced you, you really only need very inexpensive components, for example, a stainless steel reaction vessel, a water tank, and um, uh, several co components. Probably the most uh, uh, expensive component is still the pen fuel cell of the whole um, power system. I also want to give you um, couple of details of our TRL5 prototype uh, uh, power, uh, power generator. Uh, it provides a continuous output of around 100 watts, uh, which is just limited by the fuel cell. The power generator, as it stands here, uh, could provide you up to 300 to 400 watt, uh, but it's, it's, as I said, limited by the fuel cell. And you have an uh, energy amount stored in one cartridge of around 600 watt hours. The ho whole system weight is still at 14 kilograms, but we are still at a very early uh, TRL5 level. And the next step is actually to make a much smaller and uh, more lightweight system. It operates at very low pressure, the whole thing. So you have uh, hydrogen pressures below one bar and an output voltage of um, 12 to 30 volts after the boost converter. And one very important fact about uh, these power paste based power generators is you can just start and stop the reaction at any time. And it's also um, fully controlled, uh, uh, for example, if you have any load changes. Here in this slide, I'm just giving such an example for uh, a variety of load changes. And um, what you can see basically on the right side is the system pressure in red. And uh, generally, the system pressure is always below 200 and 800 millibars and um, uh, independent from, from the load of the fuel cell. And uh, one uh, Further uh, particular fact which is important is the reaction starts, uh, stops within uh, minutes actually and when you switch off you still generate a couple of millibars of hydrogen but then everything really stops and is fully switched off and this actually is a major breakthrough. To summarize our um, uh, development, we started everything uh, with a proof of principle. We actually showed this uh, small scale model of a uh, power generator with a toy fuel cell uh, of power paste back in 2013. Uh, we were able to show our first lab demonstrator back in 2016. And now um, uh, we have a demonstrator uh, which is uh, relevant uh, for the environment already at a technology readiness level 5. 
We're still looking for partners uh, to cooperate with uh, for PowerPace technology. Um, for example, we start uh, with design studies so we can tailor a solution exactly to your needs um, for a certain power application. Uh, but we also obviously have uh, expertise in the development and adaptation of the material, upscaling and production, as I just showed you, but also energy, electronics development, software de development, up to system testing. So we really offer the full um, process chain uh, from the material to the final system. And we are especially looking for partners uh, which are interested as end users for power systems, both for stationary and mobile applications, but we are also looking for system OEMs for stationary systems especially, um, materials ma manufacturers uh, who are able to provide especially magnesium powder uh, or do hydrogenation reactions already, and also uh, partners within the chemical industry. So if you're interested in collaborating with us, uh, I would be very uh, much looking forward to discuss it with you directly at our booth E49. Contact me uh, under this link. Thank you very much. And thank you so much, Dr. Tegel. At this point, if we have any questions, I can uh, bring the microphone down towards you. And if not, you guys can think on that. And uh, if you come up with anything, as you said, you'll be here uh, for the rest of the week. Yes. Great. And you'll be able to find him at booth E49. Um, so that was a really wonderful presentation. Thank you so much for your time. Um, the power pace seems like quite a, an interesting solution to solve a lot of the hydrogen needs. Um, so hopefully, you'll find some partners and people will come hang out with you. Uh, so thank you all for your attention. Our next presentation will begin in just a few moments. So uh, feel free to stay here, grab a coffee, wake up a little bit after lunch, and we'll be right back with you. Thanks once again, Dr. Tegel. Thank you very much.